This is Kilo, and today I'm going to show you how to use a plug spinner. In this video, I'll be using the Rytan Compact Plug Spinner. It comes with a very affordable price tag under $20. It is very lightweight, weighs less than a Sharpie, and it's designed to fit in your shirt pocket for convenience. The only downside to this type of plug spinner is you cannot replace this blade if it were to break. With that said, I have had this particular plug spinner for almost four years, and if you look, it's only got a slight little twist to him, so he's held up very well, as this has spun more than a hundred locks in that time. So, why do you need this? Let me show you. I will take a very realistic lock that you will come across in the field, a quick set. Now, I would say 60% of the time on your lockout calls, it, you're going to see this lock. It's kind of a toss up between this and a standard Schlage. I would say more 60-40, you're gonna see this. Every so often you're gonna come across a smart lock and I do have other videos on how to deal with those. I will be making more in the future to kind of show you other ways to get into those. However, on this one, we're going to just focus on the plug spinner. And this will be a realistic-ish example. We will take a bottom of the keyway tool, slide him in here, and I will try to do this through the camera see if I can get a good angle. I'm going to use the Bogota. This has quickly become my favorite pick. When I started, I was using the snake, as most locksmiths do. The reason being is when you're an apprentice, you basically get handed this, a standard hook, and a, like, a twisty tension wrench. And you're told, here, go, you know, figure this out. But since I've found this pick, I have not really used anything else because in locksmithing, you know, you're not really going to be out there single pin picking every single lock. Your main goal is to get through the job as quickly as you can. And you don't want to sit there and, you know, try and single pin, especially when the customer's, you know, already panicking. They might have locked themselves out 10 minutes ago, but in the customer's mind, it's like they locked themselves out you know, five hours ago, and even if they weren't in a hurry before, they are now for no reason whatsoever. But let's say we show up, and let me go ahead and make him a little more stable. We will try and pick him. These are notoriously difficult to pick. I'll show you here why that is. As you see, that took way too long to pick, and the customer is livid. You've been there for, you know, at least five seconds. And let's say you have picked him over, but it's not turning. So, what do you do? The customer doesn't want to wait another five seconds for you to, you know, correct and try and pick it the other way. You want to look more professional and grab your plug spinner. The way that this works is you spin the blade around, you insert it into the keyway, and you pull, or in this case, you push the trigger down, and it spins very quickly. You almost don't even see it. And it turns the core over. Now, in the position that it's in, you will run into problems sometimes with different types of plug spinners, as they will stop. If you try to spin it from this position, it could stop back in the locked position. You want to just take your tension tool and put him almost as close as you can to, you know, the 12 o'clock position as you can to help your spin. This tool actually doesn't malfunction really ever for me. Um, it's, you know, bigger brothers, the more expensive versions have actually 
cause me issues where even when it's in this position, I'll go to spin and it'll just lock up for some reason. It just, it'll, you know, miss its mark for a number of reasons. This one never has. So credit to the cheap right hand here. But to use this, basically we have picked this to the left and it's the wrong side. So we corrected it, try to put our keyway close to the 11 o'clock not quite 12 or we would you know lock ourselves back up and so we picked it to the left so we want to spin it to the right so if we want to spin to the right we twist our spinner to the left and if you look there is a little arm here that will fall into this little slot so we will spin him to the left and he just falls right in we will put him in the bottom of the keyway all the way and i'll show you here you just simply you know get a good grip here and just push this little trigger and we have now spun it over and you see we now have it unlocked it actually for some reason took longer to spin it than it did to pick it. Um, this isn't always the case. I just got lucky with that. Um, most of the time when the camera's on, you know, you don't pick that quickly. I haven't messed with this lock or rekeyed it or anything. I just took this off of a client's house one day when they changed their locks. So you can kind of see most of the time you're gonna come across and not be able to pick him. You're gonna, you know, sit there the customer is going to be like you know have you ever done this before and you're going to be like oh, clearly i have i mean you see this but anyway without further to do that is how to use a plug spinner you can find this guy like i said under 20 bucks definitely a durable cheap plug spinner if you're not trying to buy some expensive 50 or 100 dollar plug spinner at the moment and that's really all there is to this video if it helped you feel free to leave a like um i am up to five subscribers now which is really exciting to me i wasn't really expecting this to really be too much i was mainly making this channel to help uh new hires and apprentices and a couple of my friends who are handymen um they ask me a lot of questions when they're out on their jobs. They don't live close, so kind of just made this video for all of them combined. But it's good to see I am helping someone. Um, but yeah, I appreciate the subs. I appreciate the likes. And I'll be making more of these videos. And as always, have a nice day. And, you know, keep it legal.